A crosstab report is a great way to create summaries of data in a spreadsheet style format. If you don't know anything about spreadsheets, then I recommend that you watch my Excel 2010 training videos. In any case, let me show you. Come up here, click on the project tab, go to the reports group, click on reports, and we're going to go to custom, double click, and click on new, and the report type is going to be crosstab. Go ahead and select OK, and then for the name of the report, it's going to be it's going to be my task and cost reports. Now here's the cross tab section. So for my columns, it gives me the option of having it by weeks, days, months, let's do months. And then for the rows coming this way, in fact, think of it like this. You see the table here? That's like a spreadsheet. Here are my columns here, and you can see my columns are going to be months, so those will be replaced in months. And then for my rows here, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to be task. It brought up cost, and that's what I want. You can choose others for the task, like fixed cost for each task. But let's go ahead and just leave it as cost. And I want to include the resources that are assigned to these tasks. So underneath the task, it'll have the resources assigned to them and also include the cost. Okay. Let's go to the details tab. And I want to put lines in between my tasks so it doesn't have a task, the assigned resources. And then the next task with nothing to really separate that task, the resources assigned to it, and the next one. And then for the text, let's see. Size 8 is pretty small for all of the uh, text within the report. So let's go ahead and increase it to 10 is going to be a bit larger. Click OK, and we can go ahead and sort it by ID, or we can do it by any of the other fields. You can even type in the letter T and sort them by task calendar, task mode. If you do have it in task mode of automatically scheduling or manually, let's go ahead and click off. Ooh, I don't want to do it by task calendar. Let me go ahead and go back to ID. That works best for me. Then when I'm finished, let's go back to definition. Make sure everything looks grisly here. Looks good. Click OK. And then there's the uh, task, and it doesn't have the ampersand. It's got a space in its place because project can't handle the ampersand signed here, or as a code, it thinks it means it's going to be a space. So task and cost report, even though it doesn't have the ampersand. Go ahead and select it, and there we go. Let's take a look at it. Click on it to go to, well, page one. It's page one of two. Click on it to zoom in, and it's larger text. We've got the lines in between our tasks. We've got the task, the assigned resources. Then we've got a line for the next task, its assigned resources, and is it doing it by month? Yep. So there's the cost for September for those tasks and the resources assigned to it. Let's go ahead and scroll over. So we've got the total for uh, search internal documentation for these two resources that have been assigned to it. So that's what it means by cross tab. You can choose your column as far as time goes, weeks, months, uh, quarters, years, and then also set for your rows how you want to cross and uh, match and compare that up with the column here for the time, whether it's going to be by days, again, weeks, or months, and get the totals here the total for the task, and then broken down by resources assigned to the task. And then we can come down here and go down to page two, and click on it to zoom out, and click on it to zoom in to see October finish up there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.